Hi friends, welcome back to Cadable. This is Engineer Ibrahim Umar, and in this tutorial, we will create this part in AutoCAD. Uh, this would be practice exercise 10 of this playlist, and I will provide this file in the description link. Uh, here I am using AutoCAD 2018, and if you are using a below version of AutoCAD or a future version of AutoCAD, you can still follow this tutorial. Here I am using this drawing to create this part. Okay, so let's go to the new. I will select this template ACAD and I will click here open. First of all, I will put off these grids and then I will select 3D modeling. Okay, this one. Uh, currently, I am in top view. So I will go to here 3D navigation and I will select this one Southeast isometric. Remember, we are creating this part in 3D. Just right click here, go to here UCS icon settings and select this one show UCS icon at origin. Okay. Now, uh, first of all, we will create this space. So the dimensions are 96 by 64 and then this one extrusion is 16. So I'll go to here AutoCAD and uh, I'll go to here rectangle. I will select this one rectangle. I will click here and then uh, I will give dimension, let's say 96 and then press tab to change the axis. And then I will write, let's say 64 and press enter. Just zoom out and here you can see that a rectangle is created then i will go to here press pull and remember when you are using a press pull command you have to select a boundary okay otherwise this command will not work you have to select a closed region so this one is a closed region and i will drag in the upward z direction 16 units and i will press enter remember i am using default units of autocad okay now you can see that we have this part, uh, this thickness is 16 and here you can see that we have a fillet of radius 32 and then this height is 48. So let's make this part separately and then uh, we will place this part onto this uh, base. So let's go to here AutoCAD and uh, let's go to here rectangle command and let's make uh, one rectangle having dimensions 64 by 16 okay and press enter. And here you can see that a rectangle is created and uh, I'll go to your press pull. I'll go inside this uh, boundary and then I will drag in the upper Z direction 48 units and press enter. Let's change this from uh, 2D wireframe to let's say this one shades of gray. Okay. And uh, uh, here we have a fillet of radius 32. So let's go to your AutoCAD. Uh, let's say I will close this drawing this one select no okay so let's go to a solid and uh, let's select uh, this one fillet edge i will select this one and here it is asking let's say radius so i'll go to here radius and i will write 32 and press enter and here it is asking to select an edge so i will select this one and i will press enter and then it is asking again press enter to accept the fillet so I will press enter and now you can see that a fillet of R32 is created. Let's go to here uh, this one uh, 2D wireframe because I have to place this part onto this one. So I will select this command move and I will select this object press enter and then I will select this vertex and I will select this vertex and I will delete this part. Uh, next part is uh, we will create this one. So this dimension is 40 by uh, this dimension and uh, this is 64 and this is 22. So this dimension, this one must be 42. Okay, because 42 plus 22 will give you 64. So let's go to here AutoCAD again and uh, let's go to here uh, uh, rectangle command and let's make one rectangle having dimensions uh, 40 by 42 and press enter and here you can see that the extrusion in the upward z direction is 28 units so let's select this one press pull i'll go inside this boundary this one this region i will click here and then i will drag in the upward z direction 28 units and i will press enter and here you can see that we have a cutout 
and this diameter is 24 uh, semi circular cutout so let's go to your autocad and uh, let's select this one circle center with diameter and i will snap the center point okay and i will draw one circle here okay uh, having dimensions 24 units and here you can see a very important thing and that is i am creating this sketch in wrong plane okay so basically i have to change uh, my plane from uh, top plane to front plane okay as you can see in this picture that uh, this sketch must be drawn in this front plane okay in this plane not in this top plane so i will delete this one and then i will change from this to uh, this one front okay now i can create my sketch in front plane so let's go to here circle center with diameter i will snap this center point and i will make one circle having dimensions 24 units now you can see that i am creating this circle in correct plane so i will write 24 and i will press enter now uh, no need to trim this part uh, just select this one press pull and uh, i will select this semi circular part and then i will drag this let's say up to here and now you can delete this circle let's change this uh, okay first i will place uh, this part onto this space so i will select this part i will select this move command i will snap its vertex and then i will place this to here now i will delete this sketch and i will change this visual style from 2d wireframe to this one shades of gray and now you can see that my second part is also created let's go to my drawing and here you can see that we have a rib here and uh, this dimension is uh, uh, its thickness is 12 uh, 12 units and uh, this dimension is uh, uh, 16 plus 40 which is uh, okay let's go to your calculator and uh, it is uh, 22 uh, sorry 40 40 plus 16 56 uh, okay this dimension is uh, 56 so this rib must be 40 okay uh, this must be 40 okay let's make this rib here so let's go to here line command and i will snap this vertex and i will make one line having dimensions 12 units okay i will put on this ortho so that i can make straight lines and i will let's say click here and uh, let's go to here press pull and i will select this this region and i will drag up to uh, 28 units uh, now i have to uh, trim this part so all i need to do is to create a line here and then use press pull so let's select this one line select this vertex and i will make one line from this vertex to this vertex now i will go to here press pull and i will select this contour and i will drag here so a rib is also created uh, next is we will create this cutout and here you can see uh, this dimension is 60 and this dimension is 20 and then we have this part and its diameter is 60 so first i will make one line having dimension 20 and then i will create one circle and then i will offset these lines 8 units because this one is 16 so i will create one line from center and then i will use offset command to offset this line uh, so here you can see that uh, basically we have to create uh, our sketch on this plane uh, this top plane so i'll go to this drop down and i will select this one bold okay and here you can see that my top plane here okay so let's select this one line and uh, first let's say i will change this uh, to 2d wireframe so that we can make our sketch easily so let's select line tool i will snap the center point and i will make one line having dimensions 20 units press enter and now i will use offset command to offset this line uh, eight units 
in the left hand side and 8 units in the right hand side because this width is 16. So I will write O, O is the shortcut key of uh, offset, I will press enter and then I will write 8 and then I will select this line in this direction and then this line in, in this direction. Okay. Uh, now I will create uh, one circle having diameter 16 keeping this point center. So let's select this one circle center with diameter. I will snap this point and I will make one circle having dimension 16. Okay. Uh, now I will write uh, trim and I will select this one and I will select these lines. I will press enter and I will delete this part. Okay. Also, I don't need this line now. Press delete. And uh, let's go to here this one, press pull. I will select this contour and I will drag in the downward Z direction. And uh, now I will change this visual style from 2D wireframe to this one, shades of clay. And now you can see that uh, uh, this slot is created. Uh, lastly, I will use uh, uh, union command to create one single solid body uh, because you can see that uh, it is a single uh, body, uh, it is a single uh, solid body and uh, it is a single solid body. Okay, let's select this one, this one and this one and I will click this and I will delete all these. Uh, now I will select all these, I will go to here solid and I will select this one union. Okay, uh, basically union combines uh, uh, individual uh, solid bodies. So I will select this one solid union and I will select this one, I will select this one and I will select this one and press enter. And uh, now you can see that it is a single solid body. Uh, so uh, that's how you create uh, uh, simple parts in AutoCAD and uh, I hope you like it and if you have any question, any query related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects. Thank you.